Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. We are still playing catch up and today our focus is on the 15th of August. On the 15th, we have two historical rules, birthday celebrants. And if you celebrate your day on the 15th, you are in good company. And you'll see why later on. Our first celebrant for the 15th is Alfonso the 9th of Leon and Galicia, who was born in 1171 to parents King Ferdinand II of Leon and Eureka of Portugal. He democratized and modernized his domains, founded the University of Salamanca in 1212, and summoned the first parliament reflecting the fullest representation of the citizenry ever seen in Western Europe. He married twice, both to relatives, and both being annulled due to consanguinity. His first wife was Teresa of Portugal, who bore him three children. His second wife was Berengaria of Castile, who bore him five children. He died at the age of 59 on the evening of 23rd to 4th of September 1230, being succeeded de jure by his daughters from his first wife, Sancha and Dalsi, and de facto by his son from, with Berengaria, Ferdinand III. Our second celebrant for the 15th of August is none other than Napoleon Bonaparte, who was born in 1769 to parents Carlo Bonaparte and Letizia Romalino. He conquered most of Europe, first as consul from November 1799 and then as emperor of the French from 1804. He married twice, first to Josephine de Beauharnais, who bore him no children, and secondly to Marie-Louise of Austria. Marie-Louise bore him his heir, Napoleon II. He was deposed from the French throne in 1814, being exiled to the island of Elba, from which he escaped on the 26th of February 1815 for 100 days. He was eventually captured and exiled to the island of St. Helena, where he died at the age of 51 on the 5th of May, 1821. Those were the historical royal celebrants we have for today. You can remember them and celebrate with them by liking this video and subscribing for more. Bye, guys.